everyone, I am Min and welcome back to the Icon Asia channel. I am a huge fan of matte lipsticks and red is my definite go-to colour of choice when it comes to rocking a classic and bold lip. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 6 different matte red lipsticks that I've picked out. And with Chinese New Year and Valentine's Day right around the corner, it is the perfect excuse to go out and buy some new red lipstick. And of course, price is a very big factor as well, so I've picked out 6 different lipsticks ranging from luxury to affordable brands, so that we can really compare them side by side and see which are the clear standouts. I hope you're as excited as I am, and let's get down and dirty and start swatching. Let's kick things off and start with the most expensive lipstick of the bunch. This is the Tom Ford Lip Color Matte in Velvet Cherry and this is 75 Singapore dollars. So I deliberately picked the most expensive lipstick that I could find just so that we can use this as a gauge to see how the other lipsticks perform against this. I've never tried a Tom Ford lipstick before but I've heard really great things about them. But I'm just not sure if I'll be impressed enough to be splashing out $75 on a lipstick. So I'm actually really excited to try this and let's start swatching. Okay, so my first impression on this Tom Ford lipstick is that I'm not that impressed. So at $75 a pop, I was really expecting this to wow me, but it didn't. In fact, I kind of find it pretty mediocre and average. I was expecting it to be a lot more pigmented than it is. As you can see, one swipe was not enough. The colour payoff was just not there in just a single swipe and I did have to go over it at least twice. The finish is also not as matte as I would like it to be. It's still pretty glossy. The consistency also feels a little slippy. I do feel like it might feather out in a bit. It's a great lipstick and the packaging is also really pretty. So yeah, all in all, this Tom Ford lipstick is a pass for me. But if it's something that you'd be interested in, then you can definitely go check it out. The next lipstick that I'm going to be swatching is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella. Now I'm really really stoked to try this because I have the same pencil in the shade Dragon Girl and I really really love it so I'm expecting this to not disappoint as well. So this lip pencil cost $37. Going into this, I already know that I'm going to love the formula of this lip pencil but I'm really excited to see how the shade turns out. I really love the formula on this pencil. It's really soft and really light. It also doesn't feel too dry, even though it's a really matte finish. It's so lightweight that it feels like you're not actually wearing any lipstick on. So it's very comfortable. Pigmentation wise, it is pretty light but you can really layer it to achieve a full opaque colour. The only thing that I do not like about it is that you have to sharpen it, which can get very messy. So hopefully NARS does improve on the packaging in time to come and make it like a twisted pencil. But all that aside, this is still a really great product and I would highly recommend that you check out this range as well as its other shades that it comes in because I really like the formula on this. And the next lipstick that I'm going to be swatching is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Feel So Grand. This is $39. This is from the new range of liquid lipsticks that MAC has released. It's a little late to the liquid lipstick game but better late than never. The packaging is really cute and I have really high hopes for this. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, I really like this lipstick. The applicator on it is really good. The applicator is very different from the other liquid lipsticks that I've tried. It's very flat and sharp and that really helps to give you a more precise application. Formula-wise, it is very dry but that's usually the case with liquid lipsticks. It does feel very similar to the MAC Retro Matte lipsticks. The ones that come in a bullet, those are also very dry. The lipstick is really pigmented, like one swipe and it really does give an opaque finish. The finish is also very matte, which is something that I really like. Now let's try the kiss test. 
It does dry down completely dry and it dried down really quickly as well which is something that I can appreciate. It doesn't feel heavy and it also doesn't feel like it's gonna flake off anytime soon. For a liquid lipstick, this is actually pretty comfortable and I will definitely recommend this if you're out in the market for a liquid lipstick. The next lipstick that we're going to be trying is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain and this is in the shade Always Red. I've never actually tried this before but I'm really excited because I've seen pretty good reviews about it and at $24, it's pretty affordable I would say. So let's try it. So first impressions, I really like this liquid lipstick from Sephora. For a liquid lipstick, it's actually really comfortable. It doesn't feel very heavy or dry. The colour is also really pigmented and it's really easy to achieve a fully opaque finish. I'm not too crazy about the applicator on this but you can always go in with a brush like I did to really get a clean finish. Now let's do the kiss test. So it dries down completely dry. As you can see, there's no transfer whatsoever. I really like the matte finish on this. It's really, really matte. There's no shine whatsoever. Comparing this to the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick that I swatched earlier on, I actually do prefer this one. Between the two, this feels more comfortable. It doesn't feel as dry as the MAC one does. And at $24, I think this is the better deal out of the two. The next lipstick that I'm going to be swatching is the Revlon Super Lustrous Matte Lipstick in Retro Red. Now back in the day when I was a lot younger, this Revlon lipstick in the shade Very Red used to be my favourite lipstick of all time. It's super affordable and it's super long lasting. The colour is also super pigmented so I was really excited to go into the drugstore and see that they have new shades of red in this range. So I'm really excited to swatch this. It's a new shade that I've not tried before. From what I remember, this is a really really good lipstick from the drugstore. No surprise there, I really really love this Revlon Matte Lipstick. And even though it's from the drugstore, I would say that it's very comparable to all the luxury lipstick brands out there. The colour is so pigmented and just with one swatch, you can really achieve a full opaque colour. I really like the shade as well, it's a very deep red with a hint of blue. So the finish is not as matte as I would like it to be, but you can always easily blot it off with a tissue paper and it will become matte. Even though it's a matte lipstick, I find that it's still pretty moisturising, it doesn't feel dry at all. If I were to compare this with the Tom Ford lipstick that is $75, I actually do prefer this one a lot more. This is definitely a win for the drugstore. At $18, it's actually really affordable and drugstores are always having sales so I actually got this for half off at $9 so that's an even bigger bargain. So I would highly recommend that you head over to your drugstore to check it out and see if it's on sale. Last but not least, the final lip colour that we'll be swatching in this video is by NYX. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Eden. You won't believe it, but this is actually only $13 from Sephora. So it's actually much cheaper than the big drugstore brands like Maybelline, L'Oreal and Revlon. I've never actually tried a NYX lipstick before, so I'm pretty stoked to try this out. So yeah, let's get to swatching. I gotta say, I'm really really impressed with how the lipstick turned out. It is so pigmented and just with the first swipe, I could tell that this was going to be amazing. The consistency is really good as well. It's very creamy. It's a very nice true red with a hint of blue. And yeah, all in all, it's a very comfortable and pretty lipstick. I can't believe that this was the cheapest one out of the whole bunch that we tried. So we had like super luxury to like super cheap. And guess what? This one actually really blew my mind. So if you've never tried NYX lipsticks before, like me, I would definitely recommend that you go check this out. So we're done reviewing all six lipsticks and can you guess which ones are my favourites? 
Do leave me a comment to let me know what your thoughts are on the products that I've mentioned or if you have any favourite matte red lipsticks to recommend. I would also love to hear if you have any ideas and suggestions on videos that you would like to see from me on the Icon Asia channel. You can also find me on my YouTube channel. It is Girl Who Cried Wolf and I'll link it down below in the info box. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to Icon Asia and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!